Hey, I just thought I'd pop on and do a quick video to support yesterday's blog post, which was looking at how our bad money habits actually help us. So it sounds completely counterintuitive, doesn't it? How can a bad habit actually be helping us, especially a habit that stops us saving, stops us investing, means we don't look at the money or control it? Um, but it does. And the reason it does is because it's not about the money. It's about the feelings and the experiences that sit underneath to drive that. So habits aren't good or bad, they're just things that we do, they're behaviours. They only become bad when they get in the way of us achieving something more positive that we would like to do with our money. So I thought it would be helpful if I shared um, one of my money habits and how I went through the exercise in the blog and the link is below with the questions in. Just looking at how does that habit help me? What's good about that habit? What am I gaining that's positive and how am I feeling about that habit? So when I was in my 20s, um, finances were a little bit tight. The income was coming in, but it wasn't quite as much as the outgoings whilst raising children on my own. So I stopped looking at the envelopes and the bills. They'd come through the letterbox and I can still see them now stacked up on the dining table. Um, and I just wouldn't look at them until I absolutely had to. Now, that's a bad habit because I'm not controlling my money. I'm not budgeting. But how is that helping me? So when I went through the questions, what was good about that habit? It was good because whilst I was anxious in the background, I never actually had to face the fear because I didn't look. So it was keeping me safe because I never had to put myself in an uncomfortable um, emotion that was more perhaps than I could bear at that time. Um, the second reason was quite easy as well, that if I didn't look and therefore I didn't pay or attend to them, it kept a little bit of money in my own bank account and having a little bit of money in my bank account actually made me feel safe. So that bad habit stopped me feeling fear and kept me feeling safe. Um, it made me feel secure and it also made me feel as if I was in control. I was not in control, but the way I felt in control was because I was deciding where that small amount of money was going. So if it got to the end of the summer holidays um, and needed to buy school uniform and school shoes, which is always expensive, I could choose to prioritise that rather than attend to any of these scary demands in the letters um, on the dining table. So a bad habit, but it was helping me and understanding how it helps us is the first key to understanding how it doesn't help us and how a different habit could help us instead. So take a moment to look at the blog post Go through those questions with your own. Just pick one habit. Don't be critical, ideally a bad habit, and look at how that is actually helping you. And then feel free to comment below because I'd love to know what you discover about that. And in part two, we'll look at flipping that and looking at the downsides.